This is a tournament style battle, which means it will be a 4 versus 4 no battle. I will be providing commentary for this battle. This is a live battle between PME and Minami. Alright. I will be doing a turn by turn breakdown of each play. And without further ado, let us begin. Right at the start, we see Pimi bring out Reuniclus and Aromatis. And Minami brought out Garchomp and Zapdos, a popular lead. Now, from what we can see from Pimi's team, is it's most likely a Trick Room setup team. So, either Reuniclus or uh, possibly even Aromatis, they can both learn Trick Room. Either of them can set it up. And um, Garchomp and Zapdos are a pretty solid lead in which they can both be pretty offensive right at the start of the battle. So, um, it is up to Minami to try to stop the trick room from happening. She very well knows what's about to happen. And Pimi's job is to get the trick room up as soon as possible. So at the start, we see Garchomp using Earthquake quite smart because Zapdos avoids the Earthquake by being a flying type Pokemon. And as we know, flying type Pokemon are, are not affected by ground type moves. And at the same time, uh, she chooses his Zapdos to use Discharge. In which case, Garchomp is not affected because he is a ground type Pokemon. Now, now the Pokemon were knocked out, so Armatiz uh, proceeded to use Light Screen and Reuniclus used uh, Trick Room. So now it is a problem for Minimi's team because now all of her Pokemon most likely will be outsped by PME's team. Now, uh, PME will be taking full advantage of the four remaining turns of Trick Room by attacking um, the opposing Pokemon and try to knock them out as quickly as possible before the turns run out. It is Minimi's job to survive long enough or possibly even win within that time frame. Now, Pimi uh, decides to use uh, Matisse's Moon Blast on Garchomp to hopefully take it out. It could not because Garchomp is quite a strong Pokemon and could very well take the hit. He also decides to tell Ryo Nicholas to use Psychic on the Zapdos to do some damage. He knew that wasn't going to take it out, but that was fine. Now, Minimi proceeds to tell um, Zapdos to use Discharge to try to do as much damage as possible, but with the light screen up, it is half damage at that point. Minimi knows this and uh, proceeds to tell Garchomp to use Earthquake, which does indeed knock out both the Reuniclus and the Aromatis. Pimi is now in quite a tough spot because now he only has two remaining Pokemon against Minimi's full team of four. But there is a bright side to this, for Pimi's team still has Trick Room up. So let's see what his two remaining Pokemon are. It is a Heracross, a very solid Pokemon, and the Moonga is a pretty popular choice. Now from what we can see from here, Garchomp hasn't used any other moves besides Earthquake, and a popular item on it is either the Choice Band or a Choice Scarf. The Choice Band increasing its attack stat, while the Choice Scarf increases its speed. Uh, Pimi will most likely try to decide which of these two items it is, but by the damage he might think it would probably be Choice Scarf, which is a good thing for him because he still has a Trick Room up. Now Zapdos, he already sees that it had a Leftovers on it. So it's most likely the def defensive type of Zapdos will most likely Roost and maybe even Heat Wave on it. So he, m he wants to avoid at all costs getting a Moongus um, taken down by the Heat Wave and then possibly by a Earthquake from the Tr Garchomp later. So he'll try everything in his power to stop this from happening and still continue on an offense even though he is two, uh, two Pokemon down. So we'll see what he will be doing this turn. Alright, he proceeds to um, Mega Evolve his Heracross into Mega Heracross. Now it changes his ability. Now it has a Skill Link ability. So any moves that do 2 to 5 hits now always do 5 hits. He tells his Amoongus to use Spore on the Zapdos, a good play, to stop it from possibly using a Heat Wave to do any uh, large amounts of damage to both of his Pokemon. He tells his Mega Heracross to use Rock Blast and this will easily take down the Zapdos. Now he doesn't have to worry about that, he will most likely have to deal with Earthquake if he have predicted the item right. And yes, it is indeed an Earthquake. So both of these Pokemon can very well take that hit. They did a, a, quite a large chunk to Amoongus, but it could probably take another Earthquake, so it'll be fine. Now let's see how many of you respond with the next Pokemon. It is a Gastrodon. Now, it's an interesting choice because Gastrodon is quite is four times weak to Grass-type moves. But he must have... I mean, we must have a plan to counter the Amoongus in some way or form. 
So let's see what will happen in this turn. Because as we know, Amuga still has a sport and even a, um, a grass type move to potentially do a large amount of damage to Gastrodon. But let's see what will happen now. Let's see, Amoongus indeed does use the Spore on the Gastrodon. So for now, this Gastrodon is asleep for at least one to three turns. Oh, but it seems that the Gastrodon actually has a Lumberry. So it immediately wakes up and uses Earth Power because actually Gastrodon is slower than Heracross. So it proceeds to move first because Trick Room is still in effect. Now, uh, Gastrodon had to take extra damage, but that's alright because Mega Heracross will proceed to take out this Gastrodon with Bullet Seed, which will always hit five times. But it didn't even need to hit five times, because apparently three times was more than enough. Now this Garchomp will be the last Pokemon to move in this turn and will use Earthquake. Will it take out the Amoongus? No, it won't not. It still lives with two HP. Now let's see what remains. It is Minami's Charizard. Charizard is another popular choice on in this scene because it has two Mega Evolutions in that of Mega Charizard X and Mega Charizard Y. Uh, Mini Me most likely made a choice on which one to use for the uh, for this specific team. But we'll see what will happen. Now, um, P Me it has come back pretty strong from this game, and is now tied two Pokemon with Mini Me's two Pokemon as well. So now let's see what will happen in this turn. This might be the this is the last turn that Trick Room will stay in effect. He better make the most of it. So let's see what happens. Minimi decides to Mega Evolve Charizard into Mega Charizard Y. And now Mega Charizard Y's ability is Drought. So with it, it'll bring the sunlight for five turns. So all fire type moves are increased by 50% in damage. As well as Solar Beam uh, not having any charge this turn. Um, now Moongus uses... Um... um Giga Drain on the Garchomp to take it out, which is a good play on his part. But uh, this Amoongus also had Life Orb to do extra damage, so this it might, most likely was needed to take it out. And uh, Mega Heracross proceeds to use Rock Blast, and this, this will easily take out the Mega Charizard Y. And with that, it was a pretty close game. But in the end, PME came back from a 2 Pokemon deficit and won the battle. Alright, ho hope you enjoyed.